The unfinished step pyramid, also known as the Buried Pyramid, was found by Zakaria Gonium, an Egyptian archaeologist in 1951. Gonium noticed its odd rectangular shape in the desert while excavating the nearby Unius complex. A three-part rubble-coursed enclosure was initially discovered, and by digging to its bottom, it was found to be 5 meters tall and 18 meters thick. However, he later discovered that the wall further extended on both sides to dimensions of 520 meters on its north-south axis and 180 meters to the east-west. Predictably, the site is full of false doors and niches. Yet, what no one predicted was the unique sarcophagi, which was soon discovered thereafter. Built with a sliding door and largely believed to predate the Egyptian civilization, Indeed, the construction of the Great Pyramids themselves, due to the current condition of the site, Zakaria purportedly opened the sarcophagus in front of the world press. Yet unfortunately, or rather predictably, like the many other sites discovered in the modern day in this most mysterious of areas, was completely empty. Presumably looted, though it is indeed possible that a cover-up of its contents had occurred, just prior to the announcement of its discovery. Regardless of this absence of contents, it is thought to have been the burial chamber of Sikhemket. This pharaoh, known as the second of the third dynasty of ancient Egypt, has been claimed as having reigned over Egypt circa 2686 to 2613 BC and is placed at the beginning of the Old Kingdom of Egypt. What makes the find all the more intriguing, however, along with its claimed predating of the height of the Egyptian empire, is the unique style of the tomb itself. Clearly an out-of-place artifact or possibly a sarcophagi of the original builders of the pyramids themselves, with the embalming technique later adopted and continued by later inhabitants of the Giza Plateau. A clear strategic power move by those who have claimed to have built the pyramids, yet also completely absent of any explanation of how, with its seemingly impossibly sized megalithic blocks found within the constructions. Furthermore, to support the accusation of a modern looting of this tomb is the fact that nearby, Sicariagonium also found 21 solid gold bracelets, small mussel shells, and faience corals covered with gold leaf. It would seem these items, although priceless, were less important than hiding the contents of the tomb. The question is, if this was indeed a looted tomb of the past, why were these now priceless relics seemingly left undiscovered, while the incredibly well-hidden sarcophagi was completely ransacked? It is a find which we find highly compelling.